Hitler, Putin, Kim Jong-un, many people who shaped the course of history stood out as children and even in their youngest years showed that they were different from others. In this video, we want to introduce you to some historical persons who were already disturbing as children or were special in other aspects. In particular, we will also look at two of the most dangerous rulers of the last 100 years, Putin and Hitler, and show how they were already disturbing and extraordinary in their childhood. But we'll also show you how hard one of the most famous actresses and one of the most famous criminals in the world had it in their childhood. So make sure to stay tuned here at Wonderlane. We start our video with the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, who is currently keeping the whole world on tenterhooks. Putin is known as a merciless politician who lives in luxury, rules with an iron fist, mercilessly takes action against people he doesn't like and is used to getting everything he wants. But was this development already foreseeable in his childhood? Actually, Putin was already very conspicuous as a child. As a child, he grew up in poverty and lived with his parents, who were simple workers, in an apartment of only 20 square meters. There was no warm water or heating and Putin's family had to share the bathroom and kitchen with the neighbors. Despite his parents' poverty, however, Putin quickly learned that he got everything he asked for. Since his two older brothers had already died in infancy, Vladimir Putin was the only child his parents had left. So they spoiled him with expensive gifts such as a wristwatch. It may have been this special treatment or simply a natural predisposition that made Putin a dangerous boy at an early age. Already as a child he started to become violent towards other children in the neighborhood and had a passion for martial arts. According to some acquaintances, even then he was obsessed with power and dominance, but at the same time had a very manipulative and calculating nature. Furthermore, he always knew what he wanted. As a teenager, he began to be fascinated by spy films and applied to the KGB Secret Service as early as the ninth grade. And so it can be said that at an early age Putin had the mixture of intelligence and single-minded ruthlessness that he still exhibits today. From Putin we now move on to one of the most notorious serial killers in history, namely Ted Bundy. The handsome and eloquent American killed at least 30 people in the course of his life and after he was caught the whole world was shocked that someone like him could have committed such terrible deeds. However, Ted Bundy's childhood and his behavior and it was already completely disturbing, as later came out. He grew up together with his mother at his grandparents' house and they ordered his mother to pretend to be Ted Bundy's older sister. Thus the young Ted believed all the time that he had no mother. According to rumors, his grandfather was even his biological father, but this could never be confirmed 100%. What is certain is that the grandfather was violent and racist and tortured animals. This behavior then also rubbed off on the child and so Ted Bundy already put a grinning knife in the bed of a relative at the age of three and was happy about her shock about it. Later, he built dangerous traps by digging pits, placing pointed sticks in them, and then covering them in hopes that someone would get hurt. Knowing these facts, it is therefore not so surprising what became of Ted Bundy later. Next we come to a historical person who was also disturbing in childhood, but rather in a positive way, as he was considered an absolutely incredible child prodigy. We are talking about the famous composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Compared to other children, it is hard to believe what Mozart was able to achieve at a young age. After the later composer received music lessons from his father at the age of four, he began composing his own pieces just one year later. From the age of six Mozart traveled throughout Europe and gave concerts. What then happened in Rome was simply fierce. The young Mozart visited the Vatican there and only listened to a piece of music twice, the notes of which were kept secret and could therefore never be played outside. But Mozart managed to memorize the entire piece and then write it down and play it back at home without any mistakes. It is not unusual that musical talent often shows itself in childhood, but how pronounced this was in Mozart's case can easily be described as disturbing. From the master of classical music, we now come to the king of pop, Michael Jackson, who became a music legend in his own lifetime, influencing countless other musicians. As impressive as his ability was, however, Michael Jackson's childhood was unfortunately also disturbing. Jackson was literally drilled into his music career by his father, and by any means necessary. His father trained him to be an ingenious singer and dancer, but used merciless drill that destroyed Michael Jackson's psyche for his entire life. Little Michael often had to get up at 2 a.m. to practice, was not allowed to attend children's birthdays, and was not even allowed to have friends. His entire life was focused only on his career and Michael was put under so much pressure by his father that he often vomited from exertion as a child. His father was therefore an absolutely toxic authority and thus ensured that Michael was already disturbed to a certain extent as a child. After Michael Jackson, we come to another historical person whose childhood was absolutely disturbing, and that is Hitler. But before we take a closer look at the childhood of probably the most dangerous dictator of all time, we have two more notable mentions for you. On the one hand, there is the acting legend Marilyn Monroe, who is still known today as the embodiment of the attractive blonde. What few know about the Hollywood star is how disturbing her childhood was. After Marilyn's grandfather could no longer cope with his financial problems and therefore tragically passed from life, her mother fell seriously ill psychologically. Marilyn, who had had a sheltered childhood until she was about seven years old, 
was now suddenly confronted with a mother who was so ill that she could no longer care for her. And so Marilyn was initially shunted off to alternate foster parents. However, after finally being placed with a nice foster family and gaining their trust, she was put in an orphanage for almost two years for financial reasons, which Marilyn later repeatedly described as traumatic. After she was subsequently allowed back into the foster family, the girl's father then tried to get close to her. So Marilyn changed families again. The childhood of North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un was also surprisingly disturbing, but in a completely different way than you might think. Given his behavior today, one would actually have to assume that in his childhood he only got to know the military strictness and cruelty of his home country, and therefore perhaps doesn't even know how wrong he is behaving. But in fact, Kim Jong-un went to school in Switzerland under a false name and learned all the benefits of a modern, democratic state here. He was considered shy, but got along well with his classmates. Just like all the other kids in the 90s, he loved music, basketball and cartoons like Nye and J.A. Turtles. Nevertheless, he later developed into the cruel dictator we know him for today. Finally, we come to Adolf Hitler and the question of whether his later behavior was perhaps shaped in childhood. The dictator began early to conceal details of his origin and later he even forbade inquiries about it. This is even understandable, because rumor has it that his parents were closely related to each other and there were also severe mental disorders in the family. What is clear is that Hitler hated his father and loved his mother. Four of his five siblings died in infancy and Hitler was brought up very strictly by his father from an early age. Although the young Adolf Hitler was considered creative, he was never allowed to live this out. His father, who was a severe alcoholic, had planned a civil service career for him and often reprimanded him with severe measures if he did not study enough or brought home bad grades. His strict father also forbade him to read adventure books or draw his hobbies. In addition, Hitler's childhood was, according to his own statement, further complicated by a severe lung disease. After his father, who was hated by him, died and Hitler, as a teenager, lived on financial injections from his mother. She also died of cancer a short time later which made the teenager very sad. As a teenage orphan, Hitler then concentrated fully on his hobby, drawing, with the plan to become a famous artist, which, as we know, failed. How and at what point the once creative child and teenager later became an inhuman anti-Semite is still disputed among researchers. It is by no means easy to determine a point in time. However, the traumata of his childhood certainly became conducive to his cruel development, even if they cannot explain his later behavior. That's it with the video. Write us in the comments which childhood surprised you the most. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Wonderlane for more interesting content every week and see you next time here at Wonderlane.